Hello and welcome to Five Year Club video number 166, Haircut and Shave Edition. Bum, bum, bum. Today I found uh, an interesting new financial independence calculator. Uh, I'd like to review briefly though uh, some of the financial independence calculators and tools that we've already talked about because I think cross-referencing all of these things is really helpful. Uh, I did a video on one called theearthawaits.com, which I can drag this down. You can see it in the address bar there. And um, yeah, you can give yourself a budget right here, and and then it will. So let's say zero to two thousand. Let's say our budget's eighteen fifty to two thousand. You say okay. Family size two, and then uh, they've got all these different uh, um, things you can select, and you say search do do do, and it comes up with cool places around the world that you could live like Greece or Spain or Valencia or Lithuania. Yeah, so um, the Earth Awaits is cool and uh, you should check it out. And then I've also just covered in the course of doing these videos um, some simpler uh, financial independence calculators such as this one that you simply give it your annual income uh, your savings and it'll automatically fill out your expenses because your expenses is just whatever you didn't save and then based on your savings rate it'll tell you how many more years you have to retire and it'll show you your savings rate compared with other countries around the world so you can see if you are competitive or not with say Germany or France. We also have FireCalc. FireCalc uh, is similar to this one um, in that it tries to uh, give you you know, a number of years that you're going to be good for. But FireCalc is different in that it uses Monte Carlo simulations of the market, which are randomized simulations that use the market uh, volatility and average dist and, or past statistical characteristics to try and determine if your portfolio will survive your spending over some number of years. So for example, uh, we put in $500,000 as your portfolio over 30 years and then your spending would be $30,000 a year. We submit that. It runs a bunch of simulations. These are all the simulations. And you can see that uh, many of those simulations uh, fall below zero and your portfolio goes away before the 30 years is up. It uses these simulations to give you a uh, percentage chance of success. So in the case of this scenario, it says for our purposes, failure means the portfolio was depleted before the end of the 30 years. FireCalc found that 57 cycles failed for a success rate of 51%. So you got like a 50-50 shot at retiring if you try to retire now for 30 years with $500,000, spending $30,000 a year. Monte Carlo simulations are cool. If we bump this up to a million dollars, then we submit that. And did it calculate it right here? Yes, it did. Then we will see a different result. For our purposes, failure means portfolio was depleted before the end of 30 years. FireCalc found that zero cycles failed for a success rate of 100%. So that's FireCalc. It's also really cool. Um, so yeah, the Earth awaits, NetWorthify, and FireCalc. What I like about this new one is that this new one combines the cost of living provided by the Earth awaits, and you'll have to cross check it because I don't know what the reference is for nomad list. Um, but it also combines that with uh, an assumption about, um, you know, a 4% withdrawal rate and getting a return on your money. And, you know, these starting assumptions like what's your age now, it allows you to put in like a negative net worth and set the interest rate on the debt. Uh, it allows you to say where you are right now, how much you're spending right now. I just put in the current monthly income for somebody making an even $100,000 a year in California because I think that's kind of the beginning of when you can think about retiring early. You really need to make good money. And, um, and then you can also choose to either keep your lifestyle constant abroad or maintain your spending abroad. So I think if you check this box, then it assumes that your lifestyle stays the same. But if you don't check this box, then it's just going to assume that you spend the same amount uh, after retirement, I guess. And um, you can also choose to retire luxuriously, 
which is five times the cost of not retiring luxuriously. You can choose to include the cost of having a family in different places. And so let's uncheck that. And, uh, and then let's just say calculate. So we're doing a scenario of somebody who's 30, they got $30,000 in debt. I'm gonna assume a little car debt, a little student loan debt, uh, whatever else there is. Um, but they're making pretty good money and they're actually saving over half their income, which is good. So let's see how this is gonna work out. We say calculate and it calculates and we see that they could actually retire in 36 years if they wanted to move to Turkey. Now let's let's go look at Turkey here. So we can open up Turkey and it will tell you, okay, um, in Turkey, you know, these are gonna be the different costs of living. This is what things are going to cost in Turkey. You can actually talk with people who are at that location. Really interesting uh, website that I probably need to spend more time on. And um, what else we have? We have Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam at age 37. We have Buenos Aires um, at age 38. And if you can figure out some kind of remote working situation, then you can kind of move around all these places while still working, which um, gives you a lot more runway because you're still earning money. So you can actually kind of increase your standard of living over time. Uh, we have Bangkok, Thailand. That's always a popular one. Kuwait City, I guess. And then uh, Lisbon, Portugal at age 42. And then, you know, it just shows kind of where you get to live based on how late you decide to uh, retire. And that's really cool. And it's really cool that you can, you know, click on Moscow, Russia and understand the cost of living in Moscow, Russia that, you know, $684 would be a one bedroom studio rent in the center per month. Cool. All right, well, that is going to be it for five year club video number 166. I'm gonna put a link to all this stuff in the description. Hope you enjoyed it, hope it was helpful. Again, this is Nomad List and uh, have a fabulous evening.